last video is basically aimed at like people that do YouTube videos and stuff like that. No, my nails are painted and in most videos my nails and I've got like gold on the accent now and then white on the rest. I don't know the names or anything, my sister does. So yeah, got my fingers cut up too. Yeah, um, but I want to do what to include in your description box. If you don't know what a description box is, it is the box that is underneath and it generally says show more. If you click on it, it has a load of information on. So this is what you should possibly include in it. Um, some people don't even have their email or any contact below, um, which I think is vital, especially like if people want to get in contact with you for something or like when I talk to you but don't want to pull it on here or don't want to message you on YouTube or anything. So the first first thing to include is your email, so like a business email or something. Um, I have a separate email for my blog channel and my main channel. This is obviously my main channel. I have a blog channel too. If you want to go check it out, it is linked in her down there. But yeah, I always have an email um, so that you can contact me if you like, want something or want to send me something or anything. It can be like if like people want to you to do a video for them, they'll email you. Like emails like how businesses connect to you. Anyway, never had that experience, but yeah. The second one is social media, it's so like people can keep on contact with you or just like be nosy and see what you're doing basically. Or like um see when you've uploaded a video if they're not always on YouTube but they're always on Twitter and then they get a link pop up and be like they've uploaded a video it's basically so they can see that but you don't have to like put well, every social media but yeah. I have my general life Twitter. But I also have a YouTube Twitter which uploads all my videos, like which shows when I upload a video it goes straight onto that YouTube thing. Then people get the link and then they can share it and I do tweet a bit on that. I do have a YouTube Instagram, don't use it that much. Um, I have a Facebook page and I don't use that much but a Facebook page is like mainly like people that I know have liked it so yeah I have a Facebook page. You don't have to have every social media up but one social media is really good um, but also having a Google Plus account you can contact you by there and it's just an easy way to do it. The third one is what you are in because people generally like see stuff in like videos like, oh, where'd you get that hoodie from? This hoodie's from Primark. I can't link it in the down back, so don't tell it anymore. Or, where did you get, where did you get that bed sheet from? Or, where'd you get that blanket from? Like, examples like that. We want to know, but obviously, you can't get any of this stuff anymore. <laughs> because, yeah, and half the stuff I get, I get from Primark because it's cheaper and they don't sell half the stuff online so I can't really link it but yeah linking like your outfits and stuff like if you go from proper places if you want to know where you got your outfit from then you can just link it in the document it's easy and then it saves you like people uh, commenting going where'd you get that t-shirt from where'd you get that pillow that's in the background from where did you get that mirror from like it's all in there it'll all be in the description box the next one is what's happening so if you're doing like a vlog or something just briefly explain what's happening so like today's today's vlog the day i'm filming it and then as a birthday so i could like i don't do this because i want you to watch the vlog and not know what's happening so i could put this is our birthday today we're going on a mad adventure i'll come and see what it is so fine um or Today I'm doing a lookbook on do 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 do. Like on lookbooks and stuff, you wear like multiple outfits. It's always good to leave um, links where you get your outfits from. <sighs> Sorry. Um, the next one is any products mentioned. So say I mentioned. I know. I'm using this as an example. 
So this is from Hallmargans. I don't think they have a murder. What's this? So I could be like talking about this product and just this product. And be like, and people will be like, where did you get that body mist with fruit extract from? And I'll be like, it's in the description. So you can just check it out and it's easier to like that and stuff. Let's know. Um, the next one is what you're filming it on. It's always very important to like tell people where you're filming it on. But also, I think there's a way you can link it to an Amazon thing. And if people click on the link and buy the product, then you get paid for it. So it's another way of making money. I believe so. I've never done it. But yeah, it's a good idea. Also, what you're editing with. So like... I edit with my movie and it's always said in the drama that I like I edit with my movie and my, 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 I edit with my movie it's always linked in the drama like always said in the drama I link with uh, what I edit with <laughs> I can't talk at all also the category is really important so if it's a concert for example I wouldn't really put it as like yeah it's event but pull it down as music because and also I'll pull it down as creative commons like if you've got like music that might be copyright I put down as creative commons and then you don't like, get um thingied up as much for it um, and you do get music copyright so if it isn't your own music or it's um, not YouTube's music then yeah. um, next one is any other channels you have as I said earlier I always have my blog channel linked in the drama I'm gonna go check it out check it out with purple in your hair if you don't that's completely fine too but yeah um you always link them in the drama so say you have a channel for vlogging a channel for gaming a main channel a beauty channel channel a gear, uh, like um Lego building channel a travel channel like dogs in there um an exam channel stuff like that you can always leave them linked in the down bar and have the same like social media to go with it then you just need to copy and paste yeah um another thing is links to people mentioned in the video so say if i mentioned i know they're not a youtuber so go and mention them uh, so if i mentioned rachel and rachel has a youtube channel she doesn't, but she had a YouTube channel. I link it in the down bar because that's common courtesy. I wouldn't just say, I wouldn't just be like, oh yeah, this is Rachel. She is a YouTuber. Like, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. Um, and their social media as well. So people can like, they find them really interesting, but don't want to watch the videos because they find them a bit annoying, but they still think they're cool and they really like them. They can just go check out the social media and stuff. Also, any extra info you want to tell them, like your name, your age, date of birth, anything, where you're from, what school you go to, probably not what school you go to, what school you went to, where have you been, stuff like that, you can put that in the down bar. Um, also, your outfits and like where to buy it and links to where you buy it. A PO box if you have one, I don't have one. But if you have a PO box, they're quite expensive, I think. But if you have a PO box, then yeah, you can link that in the down bar. And if you're doing like a video such as like a craft or baking and stuff, link all the ingredients and stuff you need for it in the down bar so people can just like link to it. So they might watch your video and see how you've done it, but they might also want to like double check on the ingredients and stuff. So I'm going to end the video now because I think I've given a pretty good list. Um, the, the reason, the, I got this video idea click because I know some people that have channels and they just put this uh, feature in, da 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 da, and they don't have a link to the channel and they're not very well known, like they're not like dev life. I don't know, for example, three subscribers and they have one video up and no one can really find them. 
So it's really good and really important to link their channel in, down in the description so people can go and follow them. Um, I know on my vlog channel I have done the share the love because yeah. so it's like to smaller YouTubers and that's also good. Um, for smaller YouTubers, but you can do it for like if you meet a bigger YouTuber, you can always link their channel in the down there. I'm sure they will greatly appreciate it. And yeah, just share your videos, just share them. And yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tip me, comment down below any video sessions you want me to do, as well as what you think should be included in the description box like what would make you want to look in the description box and i will see you in another video very soon